they should do in general the same as 2002 and 2001 and all the years through. They should look beautiful and sexy. Just tastes are changing, colors are changing and I think every woman has to find out for herself what is good for her. And she will be assisted by the media, by the fashion press, they are very good now. Uh, and I think the result is determined by the ladies themselves. And nobody uh, can avoid that. They have to decide and have to look sexy and good. Trends are not so changing from one year to the other that now uh, once uh, in a time we had mini in one year and then was maxi and so that doesn't happen anymore. Everything is possible. The general lines uh, are changing very very softly but materials are changing. I just was in Paris in, uh, in, the, in the Louvre and there was an exhibition of uh, Jacqueline Kennedy with all the dresses she had. And there were the original dresses and coat. I think the material, and I think she spent a lot of money for good material and good quality. The material she was dressing, nobody would buy it now anymore. The development, from that, that's 20, 25 years, uh, the development in, in, this, um, uh, in this field is so big that now you are used to softer materials and, and cashmere is different than it was there and everything is much better. So I think there we, we will uh, see a lot of changes. And I think that uh, natural fibers uh, will be very strong and the, the man-made fibers uh, will compete and they will try to look like natural fibers. When they succeed that there is no more difference then they will win. <coughs> New York uh, will be very important. Uh, Paris and Milano naturally they are the big shows in Europe. London perhaps is a little bit behind but uh, London has always a chance that there are new young designers and uh, London is a very creative city. Uh, so I would say that the big four would be uh, these cities and they will stay. Turkey is a, a unique combination of two uh, centuries. They have the working force and the, uh, from the old century and they have in Istanbul a modern city like Paris in New York with a lot of creativity and a lot of entrepreneurial uh, qualities and so uh, I think Turkey as a fashion producer uh, has the, the best conditions for, for working and the Turkish um, organization ITKIP the organization for fashion export they spend a lot of money on promoting promoting their young designers and you see even uh, uh, in London uh, very famous designers like Hussein Shalayan is one of the world best designers comes from Turkey and he went through this school where all the young ones showing in Dusseldorf now are going through right now so I think they do good policy they have skilled working force and they have good creational uh, abilities well, I think in every country there are differences between the political opinions and right now uh, the Turkish voted for the uh, conventional Islamic oriented uh, party but that might be even uh, more political reasons. I think the Turkish population likes very much uh, modern fashion but there is again the difference between Anatolia and Istanbul. So there are two worlds together, even on this side. Uh, so I think w as long as the, the Western-oriented people behave well, uh, uh, then it will go together. And, and the other side has to behave well. There can be a compromise. Uh, but I hope they will manage to have this compromise and not to be too extreme. 
and extreme can be the Islamic side, but extreme can be even uh, the pro-Western side uh, being too decadent. And I think what we see now in the Western world is a lot of decadency, and that is very bad for the reputation of the Western world. The development in China goes so fast that I myself couldn't believe it. When I was in September uh, on the uh, Fashion uh, China, the, the show we are producing there, I have seen new companies that were existing for two years, and they had big booths, elegant uh, dressmen and models, good catalogs. There, there was no difference between a Western company. And they will be in Europe with this company within the next one or two years. Already in summer uh, 2003 we will have a huge participation. The screen people, just companies, they can uh, compete with the Europeans. And this will be an another threat for the European industries. And they are well, uh, I think, th they should really think about uh, to have joint ventures with Chinese companies so that they can take advantage of their knowledge and abilities and not suffer from it. There are many European companies, uh, ex especially sportswear companies, do a lot of production in China. Um, but um, I think there sh should be much more but the Germans now, they prefer to produce in uh, Eastern and Middle Europe because the distance is closer, the wages are very good, but uh, I think in 2005 uh, the Chinese exporters don't need any more quotas. Uh, you know, before, until now, if you import or export one pair of jeans, you need to pay the quota and the jeans. The quota will, uh, will be not there anymore from 2005 on and so their production price goes much lower and uh, the European industry should have a close look to this situation. Düsseldorf is not one of these big cities. We are much smaller and we have less fashion shows but uh, you know in contrary to a big fashion show in Paris or Milano where you see 70% of the garments are not made for the street, they are made for the press and they want to attract attention, which is okay. But in Düsseldorf you see uh, really what is decided for the next season. That means when we have the show in February, uh, the retail will decide what is really in the windows for the consumer in autumn 2003.